I said, you're about to blow my mind. Think that you should back away. She said, these niggas switching sides. I said, bitches playing games. I got a loud up on my mind. That's why I be overweight. She said, What is up you guys and welcome back to today's video. Today's video is another story time on the channel. Man, I don't remember which one we're up to now. I'm gonna have to look. But y'all, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in and watching today's video. Before we get into today's video, again, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below and even turn on that post notification bell. Again, we post every other day and we are not missing a day. We've gone over a month and we're gonna keep it up. And as soon as the summer hits, I'm gonna try to go every day with this shit. Maybe start a reaction channel, some shit like that. But again, I thank you guys for tuning in. And with that being said, let's get right into today's story time. Let's do it. In today's story time, I was gonna do something completely different, but spur of the moment, this shit hit me in the head and I was like, yo, I gotta do this, right? So we're gonna talk about graduation and the day I graduated high school and about the girl on drugs that was on the stage and graduated. Let me just tell you, this shit was nuts. And I know everybody at that school remembers this shit. So let's just get right into the story. So it was the morning, right? Morning of my graduation day. And let me tell you, this was the happiest day of my life because I was gonna get out of that place um, and my senior year was awful, man. Um, and actually this morning when I was waking up, I was in a hotel room across the street because at this point I was kicked out um, from living in the dorms and I was living in a shitty hotel, bro, because I couldn't afford much at the time. Um, and it was fucking rough, bro. I had a microwave, and that's about it. And I had a fridge like this fucking big. Um, and I was staying at this hotel actually for over two months. I'm not gonna get too far into this, um, just because, you know, further stories down the line, I wanna actually explain everything that happened in detail um, with my living situation. But yeah, anyway, like I was living in this hotel for over two months, the same one, um, and all the staff knew me. And it was actually a really sad day in the morning. Um, because I was leaving, right? And it was like the last time I was gonna see all these people. Like literally, they took care of me for over two months then, right? Always checked in on me. They knew my situation. They knew um, that, you know, everything I did, I did for a reason. I wasn't I wasn't in the wrong um, and I should not have gotten treated the way I did, right? They knew it um, and, you know, shout out to them. They really helped me a lot. Uh, and I miss them, honestly. I lived with these people for over two months. Um, some good, some bad people, but at the end of the day, they were there for me, and that's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it was the morning. I remember um, I was packing my bags for the last time in this hotel. I had my suit on um, while I was putting it on, and you know, I'm getting ready for the day. My family flew in. Um, I had family from, uh, let's see, out west there. Uh, I had my family in this area here. I had a lot of family there, right? And I got all ready, I was walking out, I was saying goodbye to everyone. It was sad, man, it was really sad. Uh, I get to the car, I drive over where we're supposed to meet for graduation, and I had a speech written. Um, I wrote it the night before. Um, and where I went to school, everyone had to do a speech on graduation. And my speech was, it honestly meant a lot to me. I don't necessarily have it on me, um, so I don't wanna read it. Uh, but I'll make another video, short video, about the speech I did. Um, I think some of the parts in it, um, you know, I was just thanking a lot of people. I was thanking one of the counselors there that helped me a lot. Um, unfortunately, we're not in communication today, um, but it is what it is, fuck it. Um, you do a lot for a person. I did a lot for her to repay her, and yeah, we don't talk anymore, so. It sucks, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, yes, yeah, so we're there in the morning, um, and I go up to do my speech. Now, let me tell you a little background before we get into all this, right? When we do our speeches, I think there was supposed to be like three minutes max, right? My speech was nowhere near three minutes, I don't think. I think it was maybe, my speech was maybe like a minute and a half, two minutes, if that, you know what I'm saying? And we go through it, and there was this one girl in our grade. Now, let me just tell you, I really don't fuck with anyone in my graduating class. If you're watching this, I'm sorry, this is what it is, except for like a few people, a few people. I, I wanna say all the, Chinese students in my graduating class, I fuck with you guys heavy, um, especially them because I went to school with them since basically my freshman year and they're always mad chill. Like even though we didn't speak on the same language and there was a language barrier here and there, they were always super chill. Like shout out to my roommate from freshman year. Um, Yo, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Um, same thing with Ian who graduated. Um, he's not a Chinese student, but 
definitely one of my bros. Um, and you know, we we weren't close for like a few months during my senior year uh, because I like I don't even know. I'll put this in another story. Like I blame him for a lot of things. Uh, and I really shouldn't have because we both had the same feeling about this girl um, and we should have been together against this girl instead of like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like it should have been us as bros against this girl instead of like us fighting against one another. Um, and thank God we're cool now. Like we cleared shit up. That's my fucking brother, bro. I'd do anything for him. Um, and yeah, so graduation day. Um, you know, I did my speech and like I said, I really don't fuck with that many people in my class. I really don't fuck with that many people in that school, to be honest. Like after graduating, bro, I've seen so many fake people there, bro. So many fake people um, that will love you one minute and like you one minute and the next day they'll fucking hate you, man. I don't really give a shit if you're watching this video, bro. Like if you're watching this video, I'm just fucking telling it how it is, bro, for those people watching. But um, yeah, so I did my speech or whatever. And there was this one girl, bro, fucking nutcase, bro. Like, dude, I don't even know what to compare her to, right? She was always on some drugs and shit, bro. Always. Like, weird as fuck. And mad people fucked with her, which was, like, weird. And mad people wanted to hook up with her, which I still don't fucking understand to this day, but fuck it, do what you want. You know what I'm saying? And graduation day, she was definitely on some shit, bro. I tell you, she was up there babbling on for her speech for goddamn at least 15 or 10 minutes, bro. Like, saying some random ass shit, bro. Like, and no one, like, everyone was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, get this girl off the stage, you know what I'm saying? Like, mad weird. And she just would not stop talking. She just kept talking and talking, bro. And she was like, at this point, she wasn't even reading off the damn script. She was just going off the top of her head, right? And like, I think like a few days before this on the senior trip or whatever, she like was skateboarding and she fell off her skateboard and scraped her whole fucking face. So she's up there with fucking band-aids and shit. Like bro, off her shit, right? Like, and I don't even remember, I, someone had to have filmed. Yo, if you're watching this video and you filmed that shit, fucking send that shit to me. Cause I wanna like remember exactly what happened. Um, maybe I'll do a follow up to this story. But this shit was crazy, bro. Crazy, right? And I just remember sitting there, looking up at her, and I looked out into the, like the audience because it was outside our graduation. I'm looking at the audience, and I look over at like my parents and like uh, my cousin and shit. And I'm just like, my cousin and her boyfriend. I'm just looking at them. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Like, <laughs> yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit was weird as fuck. And yo, if I have. I don't know, I'm gonna try to find a clip, and if I do find a clip, obviously you'll see it in this video. I'm not sure if I can, but I'm trying to find a clip of exactly what I said at graduation, and if I can see her clip, that would be funny as fuck, and I might have to put that in. But, um, yo, like, I'm so happy I'm not around these people anymore. Like, bro, she was crazy. There was a lot of cool people there, but she was definitely one of the ones that was off the drugs, bro. And what I'm saying is, I love how I got fucking kicked out. I've never smoked once in my life marijuana i've never done any of that shit right none of that shit and i'm not saying marijuana is bad i'm just saying like from a, i'm saying from like the school sense like there was kids there that were doing shit like that and didn't get thrown out and i got fucking thrown out right like i never did drugs at school i've never done them uh i i drank at school like once I think it was my sophomore year. Um, that's a story for another day. Fucking Grey Goose, man. That shit is crazy. But uh, yeah, that's definitely a story. Um, but I, I don't know. It's just funny. Like her, bro, off her shit, right? All the time, bro. And I knew so much shit. And I didn't say one thing to the school about it. I had so much information on so many people. I didn't snitch anyone out, bro, about them smoking, doing shit in the dorms. Man, every night when I would wake up, bro, and go to the bathroom, I would see Chinese students fucking smoking cigs and shit in the bathroom for my freshman, you know, from my freshman year. But I fuck with it. I wouldn't say anything, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's crazy, man, what happens. But, uh, yo, that shit's in the past, man. Uh, wow. It, it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. Uh, it's cool to reflect on and just, like, look back. Um, I just want to thank all you guys for watching. Uh, 
Man, stay tuned for more videos. And again, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. We're going to try to grow this shit every day as a family. Um, and we're going every other day. My name is Adam. This is an vlog. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I totally just fucked up that last part, but it's whatever. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.